Manchester United fans are used to celebrating. The club's now won 20 English Football League titles, five in the last seven seasons. Absolutely fantastic, absolutely brilliant. Right from the off, two minutes until we score, you know, you can't get better than that. The club's one of the richest in the world, but according to football finance expert Dr Sue Bridgewater, it's by no means bought success. They don't, in fact, have the highest uh, wage bill. They've got the third highest wage bill behind Chelsea and Manchester City, and yet, obviously, they are um, doing very well on the pitch. Uh, but what they do have is a lot of revenue that they're earning a lot of money, and that is, you know, a lot of that does come from their, their very good marketing, their sponsorship deals. It's these deals which helped fund key signings like Robin van Persie, his goals sealing the latest triumph. Long gone, though, are the days of the sole shirt sponsor. The club now has lucrative deals on both global and regional levels, with everyone from General Motors to Japanese paint maker Kansai. The training kit has a separate sponsor. Even the club's training ground is now tied up in a corporate deal. With an estimated 650 million supporters worldwide, it's no wonder companies are queuing up for partnerships. Half of the club's fan base is in Asia, where it has an appeal others can't match. It may sound a bizarre thing to say they have an advantage through playing in red, if you look at the Far East, because that's a very lucky colour. And uh, as it just so happens, both Manchester City and Chelsea play in blue. Um, and so probably they have some natural advantages for that region. Manchester United's IPO in New York last year valued the club at $2.3 billion dollars but it still has considerable debt to the tune of half a billion. That's because of a leverage buyout in 2005 by American owner Malcolm Glazer, a move some fans still haven't forgotten, unhappy at the club's commercialization. But with revenues reportedly a hundred million pounds more than they were before the Glazers took over and yet another title to boot, clearly it's a plan that's working.